Honey is a sweet treat loved by many. When visiting a beekeeper for this week's Keeping It Green segment, Ian Wallace finds out that bees face challenges from changing weather patterns. Away from the polluted towns, deep into the forest of the Northern Range in Trinidad, bees forage for food to build hives. Meanwhile, beekeepers, like Cafe Pilgrim, protect the bees and their hives. He calls himself a beekeeper by coincidence. I tell the story um, a amount of times. There was a hive on my cherry tree. I didn't see it the day that I was in school. And my mom told me the neighborhood beekeeper came to get it. I googled it and I YouTubed it and I saw bees and from since then I fell in love and here we are. As he checks the hives, he notices that less honey than usual is being produced during the 2022 dry season. So, every season was behaving. The stop box here would be filled with honey, but it's not really that filled. Yeah. Oh, okay. It has a little bit of nectar in it, you can see the shiny stuff. Mm -hmm. Not really much to talk about. He does find better honey production at lower levels of the hive. If you look at it, there's a wax capping over. The bees are filling here with honey. Mm. This is the ripe portion. You see this here? Mm. He thinks that changing patterns in weather, including higher temperatures, are disrupting the seasonal activities of bees. This ball of bees is just bees that exit the hive because it's too hot. We're giving these bees fanning a better ability to regulate the temperature of the hive. During our visit in the month of May, the transition month from dry to wet season, he tells us there are no flowers on the cashew trees, even though flowering is usually February to March. So I have a little patch of cashew there. So what that usually does is boost my honey crop a little bit. It didn't really help me out this year because the, the flowering cycle was thrown off. Armed with a smoker and a bachelor's degree in environmental and natural resource management, Cafe Pilgrim applies sustainable practices to beekeeping. However, he knows more than most that changes in seasonal patterns of rainfall and rising temperatures are among many issues attributed to man-made activity which affect the bees' environment. So even if you're not a beekeeper, one can understand how important are bees as pollinators in a changing climate and environment. I am Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TTT News.